Hello besties, welcome to another reaction. Uh, this one is called um, In the House of Stone and Light. It's by a guy called Martin Page. Uh, it was requested for by Rob Taylor. Let's go get it. Rob Taylor said this song it reminds him a lot of um, Peter Gabriel and I can see exactly, it, it didn't take me 10 seconds to see what he was talking about, <laughs> you know, it is so much Peter Gabriel-esque, you know, if I heard this on the radio, I would think it was Peter Gabriel, not only to the voice, also to the sounds used as well, there was also like an unusual sound just before I stopped down, maybe it was a flute, I'm not sure, it's exactly the kind of thing that Peter Gabriel will do, it's incredible, um, <laughs> amazing stuff man. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It's a beautiful song, man. You know, uh, I really, really like it. Nice bass line as well. And some nice synthesizer lines as well in there that I liked. Um, even the chorus is very, very much Peter Gabriel. That's the way he does his chorus, you know, that sound, that big sound with many voices. Uh, it's fantastic. And it's also got like a touch of um, like a, an exotic location to it. The sound, like it was like it wasn't done in, in Europe or America. It was like done outside of those those shows. You know, it's great. There's also a part that reminds me of like Sting as well there and Mike and the mechanics. So the guy has got some pretty interesting like um, maybe influences. I like it a lot. It's a good song. Not not a bad video as well.
to find my soul, yeah. At the end there, you can hear the Sting voice I was talking about there. That sounded so much like Sting, you know, on the harmonies within there at the very, very end there. Fantastic stuff. I need to check who produced this the song or who wrote it. I want to see if Sting or um, Peter Gabriel's involved. That'd be interesting. Well, that's a surprise, guys, man. Um, Martin Page, he wrote and produced the song himself. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> uh, great stuff. And it did pretty well in the charts as well. It was number one in the US adult contemporary Billboard charts. Uh, it got to number nine in the US mainstream top 40 Billboard charts. And um, yeah, in Canada, it got to the top, um, it got to the top 40, uh, Hot 100. And it was also number one in the uh, adult, adult contemporary charts. So yeah, he did well with the song. Um, very, very good. Uh, I liked it a lot. I'm just surprised none of those guys I mentioned was involved in the um, in the recording. I'm sure it's one of those songs where Peter Gabriel will wake up and say to himself, when did I record that? Oh, did I write that song? <laughs> Especially if, if, if he had been taking drugs in the past, he'd probably think to himself, whoa, I think all these drugs are catching up with me now. But um, I don't know about his past, so I wouldn't say nothing about that. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, Rob, that was beautiful stuff, man. And I hope you guys liked it as well. And if you did, don't forget to give the video a big like for me. If it was your first time here today, welcome on board. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't make it your last time. You know, you got to come back again. And better still, you got to join and officially become family members. Name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe. Wherever you are, but most of all, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. And I'll see you all next up. Take care. Bye-bye.